Hello Collective, it's me, Lucy. Welcome to Lucy's Vision. So Collective, I actually already started your reading for what makes you stand out or what makes you confident, I should say. Um, I did start your reading and my video cut off. So I'm going to take that as symbolic and I'm going to start over. I'm not going to allow this to stress me out. But I, I, I will take this. I feel like you are a person that reinvent yourself a lot. You reinvent yourself a lot. When things are like... So when bad things happen in your life or, or something unexpected, I should say, that happens in your life, you don't let that stop you. You keep going and you reinvent yourself each time and you come out, come out bigger and better and you own. You own whatever has happened in the past, and but you allow it to be part of you, not of you or like not define you, okay? So let's start with my regular deck again. Annoying. Even though you reinvent yourself, even though it was unexpected, you still took it, um, you still learn from it, and you still allow it to be part of you. But you still was annoyed by it, though. You know, we're, we're human. We're allowed to feel. Yeah. Chaos came into your life. That's unexpected. But it brought life into you. When I see colors, I see, it reminds me of life. I feel like life is um, like a rainbow. It's full of colors. Um, but life brought you chaos. There's a lot of chaos in your life, but you did not allow that to disturb you or stop you. There were chaos that came unexpectedly, mind you, but you reinvent yourself. You reinvent yourself. Um, so before I begin even further, let me invite the universe again to use me as a channel. Well, she never left. She knows I'm still channeling, but yeah, sorry about that universe. My phone was just being a little dumb dumb. All the same cards came out. Thank you, universe. I will take that as a um, sign. The same cards came out. Uh, the video I was doing for you, the same video I was doing, but it cut off and erased everything. It erased everything. And I said, when I started the video, I feel like that's symbolic. You are a person, collective. What makes you uh, stand out, what makes you confident, is that you don't allow things to stop you. When you want something, you get it. You reinvent yourself, you, you grow into yourself, and you take it as lessons. You don't allow it to be your destruction. You allow it to be part of you. And you alchemize whatever energy that's unexpected to your advantage. Because the same cards came out. And you're still the same person that you are. No matter what has happened. No matter what you have experienced. You are still the same person at the end of the fucking day. That's what makes you stand out. You do not judge yourself. You do not judge your past. You do not judge your experience. You own your experience. You do not hide what has gone, through, what you have gone through. You don't hide it. Because in the original video that it complete your race, I said collective that you are a person that likes to share a lot about yourself. Um, that's, just, that's just who you are. You like to communicate with people. You're a very good communicator. So you like to share about yourself. You do. Not in a vain way. You just like to share about yourself with people. You just like connecting with people. So that's why the judgment card and the hidden agenda came out again. You are an open book. You're very vulnerable. You're vulnerable because you own who you are. But I also said that what makes you confident, what makes you stand out is your heart and your sacred chakra. Because both the heart chakra and the sacred chakra came out. Both of them. So that tells me that you, your heart makes you stand out. Your sacred chakra makes you stand out. You have a very powerful sexual energy. With that sexual energy, what can you do with sexual energy? You can create. You can control. Sexual energy is a very powerful energy. You have a very powerful sexual energy. But it's not like you don't use it for sex. Just sex. You use it to your advantage. You use it through your creativity. Because um, in the original video, the one that you, it was raised, I said that... Um, what makes you stand out, what makes you confident is your creativity. That's what's coming out with the sacral chakra and the heart chakra. It's your passion. Your passion makes you stand out. And there's something regarding voodoo. This card came out 
before that same video. So voodoo, there's something with voodoo, the sacred chakra and voodoo, something with that. Like there's, I say that I feel like you're, you see an alien. I saw alien again. That you're very alien. You stand out. Uh, people feel like you don't belong because you stand out so much. People can tell that there's something different about you. Um, but voodoo, I felt like there's something magical about you. There's something very magical about you, Collective. Yes, you have hidden knowledge about magic. And this card came out too. You are not ignorant. You have hidden knowledge about things. But you, yourself, are not an idiot. People may view you as that, but you're not. You're a very spiritual, Collective. You're a very spiritual person. But um, you, you know hidden knowledges. That's what I'm getting. You enlighten yourself and you enlighten others. Those who are idiots. You enlighten them. You see, and I see otherworldly. You come, like you stand out. People feel like you're otherworldly. Mm, I feel like I'm feeling my nose. But I feel like I'm going to sneeze. You see? Interference and spell work. What came out? Chaos and colors. What did I say? Colors remind me of life. I feel like there's a lot of disturb, a lot of chaos in your life due to spell work. There's people, there's some type of connection with you and magic. I don't know what you got going on collected, but there's something that you're connected to that uh, with magic. But there's people, outside people, outside forces that has been bringing you spell work. That's been into these are the people that's causing the chaos in your life. People who know stuff about the occult. People who know things about voodoo. People who know things about magic. These are the people that's doing this to you. But they're not knowledgeable. Whatever they're sending to you, it's immature. It's um what's that word? They are amateurs, that's the word. They are very amateurs. I got mom. Hmm. Clarify the mom card universe. Why did mom came out? You may be a mother. Collective. <clears throat> oh. And you're a chosen one. You're a chosen one. You're a chosen one. That came, that card came out too. In the original video. But it came out now. Hold on. Portals and the dead. Chosen one. You are the mom. The chosen one is dead. Okay, this is a lot of stuff happening in this reading. People, okay. Again, I'm getting this. There's something about you collected that you're very magical. Not, the reason why you stand out and people view you as an alien, that you stand out, that you don't belong, because I was getting that. You have some type of connection with magic, magical realms, portals, um, even the dead. So you may be some type of medium. People feel like they can trust you even though you're very different. Even the dead. Something about the dead. Because people feel like you're the chosen one. But can I find the um, destruction universe? Destruction is people trying to attack you constantly. There's a lot of people that try to con contact you and attack you, collective. A lot of people want to contact you. That's what happened in the original video. The original video, I kept getting this notification that was so annoying. That's probably why my I erased everything, this, this notification. And basically, what, what cards came out? It was a, two cards that came out that... Um, connected to that notification that I was so annoyed by. There was a lot of people that were saying you hate males. A lot of people that were trying to disturb your peace. They were trying to disturb your peace because you have such a lovely energy collective. There's something about your heart. I told you that. People want a reaction out of you. But you, you don't give them that reaction that you seek. You give them a response. Um, but sometimes you get a response. Sometimes you just let it go. You don't even respond to it. What you see, you see it. But you don't respond to it. Um, and that gets people annoyed. You annoy people when you do that. And they want to attack you. Because they want a reaction out of you. They want to cause destruction in your life. Some people want to contact you. They want to know more about you. Because there's something about you people do want to get to know. But you don't. Even though you share a lot about yourself. 
or you like to share things about yourself. I don't think you share everything. I feel like you like to share things about yourself. Um, that's why it gets people mad because they want to know more. Cause you, they feel like you don't share enough. Yeah, people are very curious about you. Very curious about you. Looking at, looking at everything that you're doing. They even gossiping about you. Looking at your social media. People may have... Um, people want to cause you pain. People want to cause you pain. Wow, what kind of sad type of person wants to cause a lot of person pain? It's a very sad individual. People see how much uh, you have grown in your life. Again, like a collective, I say you reinvent yourself a lot. You let things go. You don't attach yourself to things. You own who you are. Your own exp you own your experience. You own your own experience. You don't care how it may may. You don't care how it may make you look. You don't care. You're like okay. Judge. You don't care. You. you you literally do not care collective. You don't care how people judge your life. It's a, it's what matters is how you feel about it. That's all that matters. People feel like you're very lucky, very very blessed. People feel like you know who you are. You have a sense of direction. You know where to go in life. Again, something regarding your heart, sacral chakra, and your confidence. People no can notice your confidence. They can see your confidence. They want to take away your confidence. Your loving energy and your creativity. These people that wants to destroy you. Because they see how blessed and lucky you are. Both the lucky card came out. 14, 14, 7, 7 and 11, 11. They see how lucky you are. They see how blessed you are. And they see how, how sure you are. How confident and comfortable you are within your own self. They know who... They can see that you know who you are. And you, you're not going to allow anyone to disturb, disturb you or destroy you. Despite the chaos they throw at you, you still come out on top. You still have that loving energy and you still bless. Play with it they want. They ain't gonna get shit. Still bless. Still balanced. Still healthy. Still free spirited. Still getting what you want. Cause I was getting that too. When you say you want something, you get it. When you want something, you get it. Anything else? No. You just let that shit be. Anything else that's not serving you, you don't entertain it. Because you see what, what it is. You see the attention that people try to throw at you. If it doesn't serve you, you let that shit go. You, you leave it be. If it doesn't serve you, you just, you just let that shit go. But I will say that you will respond. Um, not always, Collective. But I feel like the way that you respond is not how they want you to respond. They want a reaction out of you. So I'm gonna close it read um reading. I'm gonna close it collective. What makes you confident collective is your heart, your sacred chakra, your hidden knowledge that you know, your magical abilities, your con um connection to um magical because I was gonna talk about magic and hidden knowledge is that you know. People envy you, people envy that you own who you are, people envy your confidence. People envy how blessed you are. People envy how you know certain things that many people do not know. People envy that you're a magician. People uh, believe that you to be a false person. They don't believe you. Some people don't believe you. Something regarding dogs. People feel like, hmm. Okay, so the people who don't believe that you're a magician or you're like a chosen one, because I did get you're a chosen one, uh, they want to dog you out. They want to do you dirty because they don't believe you're godly, that you are one of God's children. They feel like there's something hidden about, um, about you. Mm. They feel like there's something hidden about you. They don't believe that you care for others. I'm going to get more in my deck. What makes you confident is that you can be mysterious, but at the same time, you can be vulnerable and share certain things about you. That's what people notice. You can be quite mysterious, 
but also vulnerable. Interesting. There are people that feel like they can trust you. They feel like they can trust you. And those who don't are those who are envy of you. Because remember I said they want to do you dirty. They don't believe that you're you're a chosen one. People feel like you're an old soul. People feel like you have some type of connection to the underworld. Something regarding death. Nature versus nurture. People feel like you're very motherly. Because I did get the mom card. You're very motherly. You have a, a, a loving um, energy. Like a mother. Something regarding death in the underworld. Let's see what's, what's going on. Because I did pick up that before as well. The whole death. Can you clarify that? There's something about you are connected to different realms. That's how alien you are. Gunshots. Gunshots came out. And designed after nature versus nurture. You know the beginning of life. How things came to be. That's the hidden knowledge that you know. But when it comes to death, underworld, and gunshot, is that you... I feel like you either have some type of mediumship ability regarding the dead, and you can um, understand how people die, or the way that they die. There's something magical about you. People feel like you have nine lives. Like, <laughs> like, not like the cat. But, like, people feel like... Okay, let me, let me double check on that because it's, I'm getting something. Because I'm getting a little collective, but I don't know if you've been like, I'm getting that you've been shot before. People feel like you've been shot, but you survived. People feel like you have like nine lives, literally. You do feel like you're a spy. Those who feel like you're false. There's something different. There's something hitting. Something missing about you. People feel like you're you're not who you claim to be. People feel like you're a spy. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is funny. You're a spy. There's a lot that people want to, want to know and people want to do to you. There's a lot. That people are seeing. <laughs> These two cards came out. Um, the sacral chakra and angel. People feel like you're an angel. Collective, what makes you stand out or makes you confident is you. You makes you confident. No one else can make you confident. Because again, you don't need outside validation to be who you are. You are aware there's a lot of negative things around you and negative things that you experience. But you don't allow that to stop you or affect who you are at a soul level. You always remain who you are no matter what you've been through in life. Whether it's tra traumatic or chaotic, you still are still have that loving nature mothering nature to you and you still are you still you're still an angel despite everything despite what people believe you to be despite what you have experienced excuse me despite what people try to do to you you still who you are you still who you are. What makes you confident is you. But only who you are. You own who you are. And you are aware that you're different. But you own it. You don't care what people think. I'm going to leave it there, Collective. This is your reading for today. What makes you stand out? What makes you confident, Collective? There's a lot that came out. There's a lot. But the main thing that I've seen is what makes, uh, what makes you confident, what makes you stand out. Is you, is your lo your love, your heart chakra, your sacral chakra, um, your hidden knowledge that you know, 
um, how you can be vulnerable but also mysterious at the same time. Um, that one makes you confident. Um, you don't show your hand. And how you can reinvent yourself. You change things up. You switch it up. Hmm. And you do things how you want to do it. You do things how you want to do it. You do it your way. And no one can stop you. I'm going to leave it there. See you next time, Collective. Like, hit the bell, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>